here in beautiful Brea, California, here at the Improv for the Playboy Comedy Show. So let's go inside and get ready to have a good time and have some great laughs. Hey guys, we're here with Paul Hughes and Court McCowan, who are the founders and creators of the Playboy Comedy Show. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing great, thank you for asking. Oh, I'm doing just as good as he is, yeah. Uh, I'm his partner. Um, just, not his life partner, just business partner. <laughs> Explain what Playboy Comedy Show is about. Court? Well, um, Playboy Comedy basically is, uh, we use a playmate, and then we have comedians. And what we try to do is we create like that old school vibe that they used to have with like Playboy After Dark, and that kind of like, it's got a little jazz music, it's got comedy. It's just, it's, I guess, comedy plus. Yeah, like a sexy lounge feel with comedy. <laughs> The Playmates do comedy as well? The, uh, well <laughs> you're going to get me in trouble. The Playmates certainly go out there and try to be comic goal, ah. but they host it. They don't really do like jokes, but they do a little bit. They do a little kind of like uh, interacting with the crowd, some jokes like that, yeah. Our first comedian, Paul Hughes. Where are you at? He's the biggest douchebag in LA. <laughs> The beautiful Cara Monaco, Playmate of the Year 2006, right? Congratulations. Thank you. So, are you a big comedy fan? I love comedy. Big comedy fan. And I, I enjoy hosting the show. So, beautiful women having a good time, having some great laughs. But that's all you need. I mean, beautiful women standing up there with a the microphone is all you need, like yourself. You don't really, we don't, you really, you, we don't need you to be funny. Wait. Oh, no. Your background in, in comedy, are you both comedians? It's my first night ever doing comedy, yes. No, I, we, we're partners. Uh, my background is we both started as stand-ups and then we partnered up many years ago uh, doing local shows in Los Angeles, little comedy shows. And one thing led to another. We wound up doing a show at the Palms Casino in Las Vegas about three and a half years ago. And then about almost two years ago now, we partnered with Playboy to do the Playboy Comedy Show. Then we started doing these small rooms and we just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then we took it to Vegas. And uh, now we're branching out. We're starting to tour across the country. And we're doing shows, Brea, Irvine. We're starting to get some of the improvs. We're going to start going nationwide soon. And um, we love it. I mean, it's like... You get hot chicks and comedy. It's yeah. really what it's about. I mean, you know, it's like we can't sing, so you got to do comedy. Yeah, you know, can't act, so, you know, we're here. Can't even really talk. And, you know, like we have the Playmate inside right now, Kara Monaco, the 2006 Playmate of the Year, who's, like, doing a signing. So everybody who comes to the show gets to meet her, get a photo with her. They get a signed photo, headshot of her um, f photo, I guess is how you call a headshot. So, yeah, it's really great. We just yeah. want to put up what we think is funny, and then that will catch on. Everybody who comes to the show always leaves going, you know what? Those people were really funny. Even if they're not the most famous, they're always the funniest people we can find. That's always been our theme. Yeah. In Vegas, you're at the Palms in the Playboy Lounge downstairs. Second, yeah, sec downstairs we, we turn into the Playboy Lounge twice a month. Second and fourth Saturdays of every month, 8 and 10.30. You can just call the Palms in the box office, get tickets there. They always sell out, so definitely call and get tickets ahead of time. Why is there always that one person, sir, that like gives you great advice when you're dumb? And it's always the guy like my buddy Steve who's fat and wears t-shirts that say no fat chicks. Never got laid in his life, but he's an expert on relationships. He's like, dude, get over that girl, Lisa. I'm going to come and take you to Barnes & Noble, get you some books. You'll feel much better. Read some books. Nothing wrong with that. You're, you're, yeah, because we can tell you're a big fucking reader. So here we go. He takes me in the Barnes & Noble, and he goes, dude, read these books. I'm in the self-help book section. He's like, okay, dude, this book was by Deepak Chopra, Detoxing Dysfunctional Love. Read that. This book was on Dr. Phil. It'll help you cleanse your soul. And this is a daily affirmation by Marianna Williamson. It'll make you feel better. It'll get over that bitch, Lisa. Read those books. You'll feel better. And I'm sitting in the middle of Barnes & Noble, and I'm like, this isn't the kind of book I need. I'm like, fuck these books. I need How to Get the Bitch Back by Tommy Lee. That's a fucking book that I will read. I'm going to his weekend seminar, hug up all our friends, and still get the bitch back. That, to me, is interesting information. And if Tommy Lee wrote other books, I'd read those too. Like, oh, how's their bow with a penis? That sounds like fun. Here's another one, sir. How to talk your chicken to chicks. That sounds like fun. And Tommy Lee's bestseller, How to Go on a Five-Day Coke Binge and Still Wreck That Pussy. All news, everybody. You're still a douchebag, though. Try decaf. Okay, you can see Paul Hughes at the Playboy Comedy Show in Las Vegas, as well as our next comedian. He's in a little movie called Can't Buy Me Love. Did anybody see that? Yeah. Hell yeah! He wore these hot little red pants with like some leather jacket. Anyway, <laughs> you can also see him on Passions, among many other things. Our next comedian, Court McCowan. Come on, let her hear. Come on, make some noise. 
Era Monaco. Playboy Jazz Trio. But it's tough, man. It's like single, being single, it's the great unknown. We don't know what's going on because we don't know what you chicks want. We don't. You say you want to date a nice guy. Bullshit. Yeah, exactly, right? They want to date the fucking bad boy, right? Because you take, I'll tell you what, you take her out tonight, give her a nice dinner, right? Bring her flowers, don't molest her. Get her home on time. She'll call her friends the next day and go, ugh, Nikki's a fag. No, no good here, right? And I'm watching TV trying to learn something, not learning anything watching this reality TV, right? Because I just figured this out, this reality stuff, it's not real, right? I watched that show, Hell's Kitchen, anybody see that? Yeah, not one goddamn Mexican on that show. Have you been in a kitchen lately? Walk back there, see Jose and Manuel right now, cooking up your food. But we do have ads about erections, right? Lots of ads about erections, but they never say the word erection. It's always EDD. Some guy named Ed is freaking out somewhere, right? But they do, and I'm like, you know how they introduced this pill? They had a guy throw a football through a dirty old tire. What does that have to do with an erection? And I got news for you people, if my woman's vagina even resembles a dirty old tire. I don't want an erection. <laughs> I want her to get vaginal reconstruct the surgery. 